In today's fact check, we're going to look at one of the most persistent urban legends in history, that in 1984, Richard Gere was allegedly admitted to California's Cedar sinai Hospital to have a gerbil surgically removed from his rectum. The story spread by word of mouth, coast to coast, often repeated as a second-hand account of something that happened to a friend of a friend of someone who worked at the hospital. Legends of gerbiling first emerged in the early 80s, mostly spread by ignorance and homophobia, as these rumours mostly targeted celebrities who were known to be, or were suspected, of being gay. There's no evidence that Richard Gere was ever admitted to Cedar sinai Hospital because none of this ever happened. Dribbling has been thoroughly debunked by far smarter people than me. There isn't a single medical report or journal covering any known cases, anywhere, ever. Yet, throughout the rest of the 80s, Richard Gere's name would become synonymous with gerbils up the butt, and his film career flagged. Although this could be a coincidence. In 1990, Gere starred in Pretty Woman. The film was hugely successful and a welcome boost to his career. The gerbil story should have died there. But, not long after the film was released, an anonymous prankster sent thousands of faxes to people all across Hollywood claiming to be a concerned animal rights campaigner exposing Richard Gere for his crimes against hamsters. The sender of the faxes has never been discovered, but it's clear that they planned this prank and executed it perfectly at a time when it would have its most impact on Gear's image. Soon after, the stories flared up again and haven't gone away since. The strangest thing about this urban legend is its persistence. Other celebrity myths have either been forgotten or updated over time. Yet this one survives mostly unchanged. Another myth which emerged at roughly the same time as the Gear Hamster story is the now mostly forgotten Rod Stewart was hospitalised for orally pleasing so many sailors that he needed to have his stomach pumped rumour. This rumour was started maliciously by Stewart's recently fired publicist. Can we then assume that there is also some maliciousness in the way that Gear's stories were also introduced and spread? Not only does Richard Gere believe that the gerbil story was started maliciously, he also thinks he knows who did it. In 1974, Richard Gere and Sylvester Stallone both starred in a movie called Lords of Flatbush. By all accounts, they really didn't like each other, and one day, Richard Gere spilled chicken juice in Stallone's car and a fight kicked off. And it went just about the way you'd expect. And this isn't even the only time they had a scrap. According to Elton John, of all people, they got into a fight in the 90s over who liked Princess Diana better, and Elton John's husband had to break them up. Richard Gere believes that it was Sylvester Stallone who started the rumour that overshadowed everything he's ever done. Stallone denies this, and there's no evidence other than Richard Gere's suspicions. But I did find one thing that's interesting in this interview with Mel Gibson. He talks about how he, Sylvester Stallone and Richard Gere all shared an agent who would never allow them to be in a room together at the same time. So not only was Richard Gere Stallone's nemesis, but he was also competing against him for roles constantly. During those periods where the gerbil rumours flared up, Stallone likely got first dibs over Gia when it came to roles. So in a way, Sylvester Stallone is the only person who's ever really benefited from the idea that Richard Gere puts gerbils up his butt. We can rate this one false. But the rumour that Stallone started it all? We'll likely never know for sure. Just don't ever piss him off.